What's up guys and girls and welcome back to Open TTD. I am joined by Tim. Hello. Okay, so that's that done. So we're back in the world of Open TTD. So you need to go there. And then you go there. So I've got some changes to do. Tim is just expanding his empire and Yeah, doing the you know, the usual. Just um Yeah. Further further expanding what I already got going here. So that's the goods trucks away now. Going to pick up. See, I still never figured out whether the goods were actually being taken or. But I'm guessing not. I'm guessing they actually probably expired, like we said. Like you said. Right. So the goods trucks are basically now going, yeah, they're just transferring the goods from the station into town. And it's making a profit. Which is a good thing, but I know it's soon going to run out of goods if the goods trend doesn't come back down yet. Okay, so let's bash off some of that lawn. Right, where are my goods trends? That's the problem. That's my... wood train that's just completely gone they need to get upgraded at some point from steam to diesel so that's producing 80 tons of wood that forest is that it? or is that good? what's the station what's the station rating? Uh, it's only I'm very good at the minute. I can improve, I'll improve that. Once the train stops breaking down, of course. So they come out of there, travel down. That's the iron ore. So they travel down up to there. Yes, that they do. Which is very good. So which one of my trends are not making me a profit? Ah, oh, the little uh, diesel going, uh, diesel going around the town. Not particularly too bothered. Because that's not there right now to make a profit. So, I, that's a problem. Am I, uh, goods coming out of here or not? I don't think they are. Where are all my good trains? Where are all your no good trains? That, that's livestock, isn't it? 
Flat roofed one is livestock. Yes. Well, as long as it's livestock and not dead stock. Hmm. How's Mass Effect? Uh, good. I finished uh, Mass Effect 3. So I finished the uh, trilogy. Yeah. And got into... Um, I finished that up last night and then just did, like, the first hour of Mass Effect Andromeda. All right. So, so I'm finally doing what I originally was planning to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, man, I mean, I'm glad I played um, the trilogy again, though. Um, I mean, obviously, Andromeda is not directly related to the trilogy. You know, like, it's a, it's an offshoot storyline and, you know, within the same universe of, but, you know, not directly related to, but, but it's still, excuse me, um, good to get a general feel of, like, all the different races and that universe and space um, while you're, um, you know, before getting into Andromeda. It's not necessarily, I think, required. I, I Honestly, I, people could definitely, I think, get into Andromeda without having any clue about... Um, the original game but but it is crazy just the amount of lore on that game is just absolutely freaking retarded because like both because all three of the one two and three all have like the codex and there's like the primary codex and then like the secondary codex that is all just as you go through the game unlocks more data entries for stuff <laughs> you know? yeah and it's just like oh man um and I don't, I'm not a big enough nerd to, like, sit there and read all that shit. Um, mm. But, uh, but I mean, kudos to, for, like, having all that information there. Um... But yeah, so much history and a very complicated story, that, that trilogy. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot to that storyline. And a lot of separate storylines that, that go on throughout the course of that game. You know, like with the different races and their histories and the things that unfold and, um, and happen over the course of the trilogy. Just, you know, some of the side stories could be full games unto themselves. Yeah. Uh, in terms of like the depth of that story and what happened, and you know, and it's like, no, 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 that that's just a thing with this race. That's not the main storyline. You know, hmm. okay. Um, but Andromeda is a nice change of pace, though, because it's it's kind of funny, and I know, I'll, I and and well, part of the reason I want to do the trilogy was I want to do a direct comparison because I, I don't think I really went back and played the previous game the first time I played Andromeda. I know there was a lot of people that were really butthurt about Mass Effect Andromeda. Because, you know, talking about how, like, oh, well, you know, it's nothing like the original games and blah, 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 and yada, yada, and doobly doop, you know, all those words. And um, so I wanted a more direct comparison that I didn't have before. Be like, is it really that big of an offshoot from the original series. Yeah. Um, you know, or are people just being butthurt for the sake of being butthurt and it's just like nostalgia getting them. You know what I mean? Mm. And um, so, um, so anyway, so I, um, so anyway, so I, um, uh, so far what I'm seeing, I mean, I obviously I haven't played that much of Andromeda yet. But after going to the going through the trilogy and getting into Andromeda, I'm not seeing a big departure so far at all. No. Like there's you know, because playing the trilogy back to back, each one of those games always did something a little bit different in terms of adding something to the table. Um, you know, they all had the same kind of combat as far as like a cover system, you know, popping up from behind cover, shooting, you know, the shields and the health, 
um, you know, dealing with different types of weapons, weapon upgrades, those kind of things, and how they did it was differently, and and uh, new things were brought to the table in Mass Effect 2 and then in Mass Effect 3, and Andromeda just really seems to kind of move forward with that. And the one thing that I appreciate right out of the gate with Andromeda is it brings, um, it, it does more with player movement. Like, it's the first game in all of them that has a jump button. Yeah. And by that, I mean a jump button where I can jump wherever the fuck I want. Mm. Not, oh, there's a gap. There's a big arrow there to let you know you can jump across. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because that, that's how it was in, um, in Mass Effect 3. Um, Mass Effect 3 technically adds, um, adds jumping in that weird kind of way and um but yeah it's um yeah um but yeah i mean it's uh so to me so far i just i really just don't see um really don't see uh the beat yeah um but also for me uh you know, getting back into it, I was like, oh, right. Yep, yeah, I can see why I got into this game and why I liked it in the first place. <laughs> Is within the first 30 minutes, they introduce you to the fact that um, you have a scanner and you can scan stuff. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm in. Like, I'm such a sucker for, like, getting credit for scanning stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know why. But I just, I like scan stuff. Yeah. Um... And uh, that's the same there, but that's oh, that is different. Oh, that should be there, not there. Um, but also, as you know, I'm a bit of an achievement whore, and uh, in that category, I um, I replayed uh, Little Inferno yesterday. Oh, I like him. Huh? I said I like that game. Me too. It's a good game. Um, and well, they added achievements because they had recently come out with the new DLC or whatever, and then they also added Steam achievements. So that meant that where I had played the game, that was work working against my overall achievement percentage score. Which you know, yeah, I care. I care about that for reasons. And, um, so I, um, cause I was looking at my, and how, how I ended up going, going to play Little Inferno anyway, was actually, cause I was looking at my profile, I noticed that my overall achievement score on Steam was like 30%. And I'm like, man, I'm going to bring that up. And I've thought about this before and I was like, well, what can I play? You know, like, I know I have some games that I could probably play just to get some, you know, percentages up. And so I was looking down through the list, and I saw Little Inferno. I was like, oh, that's a perfect one, because I know I can smash through that game real fast. Yeah. Excuse me. And then um, and I can get pretty much all the achievements. So I don't have the DLC, so I wasn't able to get those, but that was, like, only missing, like, three. So anyway, after doing that, I got my, my overall pro profile percentage from 30 to 31. Isn't that exciting? It's not bad. So, so, okay, so you there. So the thing I'm learning in this game is apparently um, cities have to be a certain size before they have commercial goods. Or, yeah, before they will deal with goods. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Um, none of the cities I have around me are, well, I use the term cities liberally. Um, 
is accepts goods yet. Like I can do mail and I can do passengers, passengers but I can't do good. So, which is not good. Hmm. All right. So you're now going finally to where I want you to go. Yes, you are. Okay. That's me officially out of debt. Yeah, good job. First thing I want to do is to get rid of my last two steam locals. So what's right, let's just open no open you open five and six so let's copy orders from you copy orders from you Move these onto the. Oh, I see Power Watch got an update. Did it? Mm hmm. A free update. Some couple of new levels. Couple of new levels, about three new levels. As part of the, I don't know what they called it now. Update 1.2, the Mockingham Files. Mockingham Files. Wow, they're really smashing stuff out pretty quick. I wasn't expecting anything from them for a while. Because mm. they already... Did, you know, because they just recently had, like, the Tomb Raider stuff and then that uh, Midgar pack. Mm. So, yeah, Jeeps, I was not expecting. Um, probably check their... What's their roadmap looking like? So, yeah, so they got, yeah, the 1.2 update, and then there's supposed to be some sort of paid DLC. And then they're working on physical copies of the game for sale and then quarter three is more free content another paid dlc some sort of exciting news hmm. um huh. that's cool i will have to let uh beth know about this because she will be stoked yeah like i say only just dropped today i believe yeah, hold on, just watching the trailer real quick. Okay, so... Sweet. Let's get that sorted. Um, what 
train. I've already got two wood trains for now. Uh, where's... Good, aren't you? You good? Yeah. So that's a livestock train coming in. Um, so I've got two livestock. Two livestock and two grain going from there for now. So do you now accept goods, but you didn't? Some more goods just come in. working. Up. We need to sort out that station, that power plant station. Is not that, of course. That's going to be running uh, 
Oh look, electric locomotive. Let uh, uh. An electric locomotive. <clears throat> Is that my steel train? I have no idea. I need to sort this. I need to sort this area out. Back to what I was doing. After sorting that little issue out. That nine there. That needs to come down to there. That bit and that bit needs taking off a minute. Otherwise, stuff is going to start running down there, and I don't want it to run down there yet. Let's take that and that out a minute. Okay, well, that's gonna be uh, 
an issue. So that, that's the old line. And then... Which line's that? That's Clastus. The old line. That is the that's classed as a down line. Um, that would be the down line. So. See something. Yeah, these people get pissed off, these towns. Man, they get pissed off real fast. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um... Let's... to you on So let's dress the that elephant. We 
You're transporting elephants now? I'm getting... Okay, so I need to... Reconfigure... My mind setup. My own or mine. This needs to be in um, No, it doesn't need to be the other way around. This way, kind of. Um, now, oh, a minute. Um, I just want to go over rid of the old station by using by pressing R with the station thing in them select it to move that out of the way okay and then and 
this way we want to go I just want to go that way instead, don't I? Like that. Um. And then. Get rid of all this track. Cats. That station sorted. I'm going to shift you out the way a minute. It's not going to go any further up that way, so that's that one sorted. Um... Um, want to bring up farming as well. Right, so that iron ore mine is fine. Trust me. Best things in life are. Oh wait, no, the best things in life are supposed to be free. 
Hmm. That's what they tell me. So what would that look like if I do... that instead? Oh. I'm looking at a royal tanker. This I could actually tap that coal mine as well. Um, problem is that line is literally in the sodding way. I just hold the wrong bit. Yes, I have. Crap. Okay. Basically, we need to tunnel there, which I can't, because there's an existing well railway network in the fair. Goody. Someone's gonna go on there. Um. Is there any trains at this station? 
Where the hell's my steel train? No, I'm confused. loading up at the uh, steel mill of course um okay so where do i want it's probably kind of want the station that way stuff coming in right now. Okay, you disappeared a minute. Let's go there. Oh, did that not get in the catchment area? No, it didn't. Um. a little bit of annoyance. What's up? Oh, I accidentally destroyed my station and it didn't get in the old catchment name of the old station name. So it, it kind of has buggered all my route, route certain routes up. Whoops. It's fine. I'll fix it. Um, I need that to win. This line is going to go like that anyways, and join there, then fix this station so I can get stuff in. So you wanna go that way, that way, that way, and that way. Like that. And this wants to come in.
don't even bugger. You've screwed that up. Tool off one, four, and then take that out. Take this out a minute. That and that out. Don't you just love trains? Yes. Um, trains are the best. So what are you? And then you need to go to here. Unload. Delete. to here unload delete order your livestock you need to go here unload uh, delete Too many windows. You need to go to here and load. Um Thank God for that, I got that screwed up. Um, okay, them guys can go. Steel, okay. So you need to go into 
here. Unload. Delete. connecting that needs to go So then that needs to be up, that needs to be down, that needs to be removed, god damn it. And then that needs to be dragged, that needs to be dragged. Um, okay, so what's the problem? That's a problem. Why are you guys gone down there? So that can go... That way, and then... God damn it, Trin, that goes that. Uh... 